Welcome to episode nine of Fridays with Farney here at the Britain Museum. And as you can see, we're open to the public. We have our masks on to protect the public and we hope that they will in turn wear masks so they can protect our staff who we value very much. Today, we're going to talk about Farney's gouache titled Conspiracy. It's a painting which features three Plains Indians engage in conversation. Now keep in mind that our artist first and foremost is an illustrator. Then notice how the selection of that title conspiracy directs the narrative as you look at the scene. Had he titled this work Pastures Old, your mind might well have conjured up quite another story. Now let's look at Pastures New, a painting which we viewed back in episode three. One thing to note is that five years have passed since our artist painted Pastures New. Yet our subjects in conspiracy appear to be the same individuals with their dress slightly altered. Remember our conversation back in episode five regarding Farney secretaries or models and his preference to retain them for as long as possible. In Conspiracy, Farney changes the composition by having all the figures standing rather than having two seated. He places them more to the center of the painting while outfitting the participants with horses, which help create the feeling of imminent action. While in Pastures New, the standing figure with the horse seems to have just dismounted and appears ready to join his seated companions for a conversation. Farney also adjusts the foreground in Conspiracy. By removing the vegetation, he lends a feeling of midday summer heat. And by using these devices, he lends weight to the, that title. So like his painting Ambuscade, we are confronted with a scene that appears to be one of impending peril. By the way, when we did episode four, we mentioned three crouching figures down in the lower right, which is correct. Did any of you notice the head of the figure on the left who's peering out from behind the rock? 